Imagine a city where every turn reveals a piece of history, art and culture. Yes, we are talking about the unforgettable Florence. Nestled in the heart of Italy, Florence is a living testament to the Renaissance period. A time of unprecedented artistic and intellectual achievement, its cobbled streets, magnificent architecture and breathtaking vistas are a sight to behold. Known as the Cradle of the Renaissance, Florence is home to some of the world's most iconic artworks and architectural marvels. It's a city that has been shaped and reshaped by the hands of great artists and thinkers such as Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci and Dante Alighieri. In 1982, the historic center of Florence was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to its immense cultural significance. With its rich history, vibrant culture and extraordinary beauty, Florence is a city that truly embodies the spirit of Italy. Ready to embark on a journey to discover the top 10 places and activities in Florence? Buckle up! Starting at number 10, we have the Central Market, a food lover's paradise. Nestled in the heart of Florence, this bustling hub is the pulse of the city. Here, the air is filled with the tantalizing aroma of traditional Tuscan cuisine, a symphony of scents that guide you through a maze of vibrant, overflowing stalls. Step into this sensory wonderland and you'll find an array of colorful, locally sourced produce, from ripe tomatoes and fragrant basil to the freshest seafood and heartiest cuts of meat. Each stall tells a story of generations of family recipes, of passion for food that transcends time. As you wander through the market, you'll be swept up in the rhythm of the local life. You'll hear the friendly banter of vendors, the sizzle of a pan and the pop of a wine cork. It's more than just a market, it's a snapshot of Florentine culture. A visit to the central market is a feast for the senses. At number nine, we have the Piazzale Michelangelo offering panoramic views of Florence. Imagine a place where the city's grandeur unfolds beneath you. A place where the terracotta rooftops, the shimmering Arno River and the towering Duomo all converge into one breathtaking panorama. That's the Piazzale Michelangelo for you. Perched high on the southern bank of the Arno, this square offers an unrivaled vantage point. From here, the city's iconic landmarks, the Ponte Vecchio, the Palazzo Vecchio and the Santa Maria del Fiore all seem to be within arm's reach. It's like holding a living, breathing postcard of Florence in your hands. As the day wanes, the square transforms into a magical viewing spot for the sunset. The sky dances with hues of orange and pink, casting a warm glow on the city below. It's a sight that'll make even the most seasoned travelers stop in their tracks. Piazzale Michelangelo, where the city's beauty unfolds before your eyes. The Boboli Gardens at number 8 are a green oasis in the heart of the city. This spectacular open-air museum spans over 111 acres, offering a lush retreat from the urban landscape. As you stroll through the manicured paths, you'll discover the gardens are home to an impressive collection of sculptures dating from the 16th through the 18th centuries, each telling a unique tale of history and artistry. The gardens are not just about greenery and statues, they boast a dazzling array of fountains, each more intricate than the last. The Fountain of Neptune, with its grandiose design, is a sight that will leave you in awe. As you explore, you may even stumble upon an amphitheater, hidden grottos, and panoramic views that offer a breathtaking outlook on Florence's skyline. The Boboli Gardens provide an enchanting journey through art, history, and nature. The Boboli Gardens, a serene escape amidst the city's hustle and bustle. Number seven is none other than the iconic Ponte Vecchio, a symbol of timeless elegance. This medieval stone bridge with its three arches spans the Arno River and is a testament to the ingenuity of its builders. It has survived floods, wars and the passage of time, standing tall as an enduring symbol of Florence's rich history. The bridge's unique architecture is a sight to behold, with shops lining its length seemingly hanging off the sides. Historically, these were the workplaces of butchers and fishmongers. Today, they house an array of goldsmiths, jewelers and art dealers, making the bridge a vibrant marketplace that's a treat for the senses. The Ponte Vecchio is more than just a bridge. It's a bustling microcosm of Florence's culture. As you stroll along its cobblestone path, you'll feel the pulse of the city, its history echoing in your footsteps and its charm captivating your heart. Ponte Vecchio, where history meets charm. At number six, we explore the grandeur of Palazzo Vecchio, a testament to Florence's rich history. 
This masterpiece of medieval architecture towers over the city with its iconic clock tower standing as a symbol of Florence's sturdy and enduring past. Within these ancient walls, you'll find a treasure trove of art and history. The grandeur of the Hall of 500, adorned with murals by the great Vasari, will take your breath away. Then there's the private quarters of the Medici family, where you can catch a glimpse of the opulence that once defined this city. Palazzo Vecchio's role in the city's history is undeniable. It served as the seat of government and even as a residence for the Medici family when they ruled Florence. Today, it stands as a museum, inviting us to step back in time and marvel at the splendor of the Renaissance era. Palazzo Vecchio, a journey back in time. Halfway through our list at number five is the Uffizi Gallery, the home of Renaissance art. This grand gallery nestled in the heart of Florence houses an extensive collection of priceless works spanning centuries. Its corridors echo with the whispers of the past, each painting a window into a bygone era. The Uffizi isn't just a gallery, it's a journey through time. Walking through its halls, you'll encounter the genius of Botticelli, the brilliance of Michelangelo, and the mastery of Leonardo da Vinci. The gallery's famous works, including The Birth of Venus and Annunciation, are visual narratives that have shaped our understanding of beauty and art. The Uffizi's significance in the global art scene is undeniable. It stands as a beacon of culture and history, its walls adorned with the masterpieces that have inspired countless artists and art lovers across the globe. The Uffizi Gallery, a must-visit for every art enthusiast. At number four, we have the majestic Florence Cathedral, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. This remarkable edifice is a testament to the human spirit's ability to create beauty that transcends time. Its facade, a symphony of green, white and red marble, is a sight to behold. A stunning tapestry of ornate details that leaves the onlooker in awe. The cathedral's dome, designed by the ingenious Filippo Brunelleschi, is not just an architectural marvel, but also a symbol of Florence's prominence during the Renaissance. The climb to the top might be a bit of a challenge, but it's a small price to pay for the breathtaking panoramic view of the city it offers. Inside, the cathedral is just as impressive, with its intricate frescoes and stained glass windows. It's a place where art and faith intertwine, offering a serene and spiritual experience. The Florence Cathedral, a beacon of faith and art. Coming in at number three, the Academia Gallery, home to Michelangelo's David. An iconic symbol of strength and youthful beauty, David stands tall in the heart of this gallery, a testament to the genius of Michelangelo. But the gallery is not just about David. It's a treasure trove of Renaissance art, housing a vast collection of paintings and sculptures that reflect the rich cultural heritage of Florence. Every corner of the academia whispers tales of the artistic brilliance of the Renaissance period, from the mesmerizing Madonna and Child by Perugino to the expressive Rape of the Sabines by Giambologna. Every piece is a window into a bygone era. But what sets the academia apart is its commitment to education. It's not just a gallery, it's a place of learning where art is studied, appreciated and preserved for future generations. If you want to experience the true essence of the Renaissance, the academia is a must visit. The academia gallery where Michelangelo's masterpiece resides. At number two, we find ourselves in the bustling Piazza della Signoria. This vibrant square is where the pulse of Florence's social life beats strongest. It's a captivating dance of tourists, locals and street artists, all set against a backdrop of grand historical buildings. Dominating the scene is the imposing Palazzo Vecchio, a fortress-like town hall that stands as a testament to the city's rich past. Its towering presence is a reminder of the power and influence Florence once held, but it's not just the buildings that tell a tale here. The piazza is an open-air museum adorned with statues that echo the city's deep-rooted love for art. From the replica of Michelangelo's David to the equestrian statue of Cosimo Est, each piece adds a layer to the story of the city. The Piazza della Signoria is a splendid blend of history, art and culture, an emblem of the city's vibrant spirit. It's a place where the past meets the present in the most remarkable way. Piazza della Signoria, the heart of Florence's social life. And finally, at number one, we step outside the city to the stunning Tuscan countryside. This sprawling expanse of beauty is a sight to behold. 
Picture this, rolling hills adorned with verdant vineyards and olive groves, punctuated by tall cypress trees and dotted with rustic farmhouses. It's as though every corner of the countryside is a masterpiece painted by Mother Nature herself. The Tuscan countryside is not just a feast for the eyes, but also for the palate. Renowned for its world-class wines, vineyards here offer wine-tasting experiences that are second to none. Imagine savouring a glass of Chianti as you soak in the panoramic views, the perfect blend of taste and sight. But that's not all. The countryside also offers ample opportunities for outdoor activities. You could cycle through picturesque trails, breathing in the fresh Tuscan air, or maybe take a leisurely walk through the vineyards. The Tuscan countryside, a tranquil haven beyond the city, on the... So there you have it, the top 10 places and activities to experience in Florence. From the bustling central market where you can taste the flavors of Italy to the breathtaking views from Piazza Michelangelo, every corner of this city is packed with charm. We've strolled through the verdant Boboli Gardens, crossed the historic Ponte Vecchio, and explored the grandeur of Palazzo Vecchio. We've marveled at the masterpieces in the Uffizi Gallery and stood in awe of the magnificent Florence Cathedral. Our journey took us to the Academia Gallery, home to Michelangelo's David, and the lively Piazza della Signoria. And who could forget the serene beauty of the Tuscan countryside, a place where time seems to stand still? Each place, each activity offers a unique piece of the Florence puzzle, a city that is as vibrant and dynamic as it is steeped in history and tradition. Florence awaits you, ready to enchant you with its timeless charm and beauty. If you enjoyed our journey through the enchanting city of Florence, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more travel insights. We love exploring the world with you, and your support helps us continue to bring these experiences to life. Now, we want to hear from you. Where should we go next? What's your dream travel destination? Whether it's the sun-drenched beaches of the Maldives, the bustling streets of Tokyo, or the rugged landscapes of Patagonia, share your travel dreams in the comments section below. We can't wait to hear about your next travel destination. Every comment, every suggestion brings us closer to understanding the diverse and beautiful world we live in. Until our next adventure, happy travels. Remember, every journey begins with a single step, and we're excited to take that step with you.